Hello, welcome to Someday Farm. I'm Stephen Watson here with today's Tai Chi Chuan tip. And today's tip is to consider the named uh, postures, energies, forms uh, in your Tai Chi Chuan form, right? The moves, right? Maybe you call it a posture, a jin, or an energy, or a, uh, you know whatever. But um, we do when we name them, it tends to make things seem discreet, but the reality might not be as discreet as the naming. In fact, I'd argue necessarily cannot be. But if we tend to think that we've come closer to knowing what something is because we know the name, which has uh, some discrete bounds, then perhaps our seeming knowing about reality is actually uh, ineffective at apprehending reality. So if we have move A and move B, the question would be, where does move A B, where does move A end and B begin? Or where does move B begin? Do they overlap? Is there some interstitial period that it's neither? Don't know. But what I'd ask you to do is consider the point at which you think, okay, now I'm doing single whip, right? Or now I've finished separate right foot. Or now I'm beginning fair later works the shuttles. I'd ask you to consider, might that move have begun earlier than the place that you traditionally consider it to have begun? Or might that move have ended after? Maybe it tapered, right? Maybe it faded out. Maybe it dimmed out after the point at which you normally think that's the end of the move. I don't know if that's the case or not on a, in a given move, but I think it's really important for us to recognize that our naming conventions, which we really can't seem to avoid as humans, um, aren't always up to the task at our apprehending the actualities of reality. And since we're trying to bring about, actualize this reality in a Tai Chi Chuan practice, it wasn't Tai Chi Chuan until I started doing it. It can be really helpful for me to be a, a, a healthy partner. <laughs> the wind just blew that off. To be a healthy partner with the art. So <laughs> anyway, got blown up. So thank you very much. And make sure that you're a healthy partner with your studio. Thank you for your support. We're relying on donations now more than ever. Here are all the ways that you can help. Online reviews, sharing videos, commenting, subscribing also help.